Hello and welcome to the Clement and Jane show. Oh, Clem, don't you mean the Clement series show? Oh no, Jane, it's different this time because for one episode only, today's show is called the Clement and Jane show. Look up there. Oh yeah. Anyway, we have four cartoons for you today. And all of the gang are here. And now, without further ado, here is our show. <laughs> Hi, I'm Clem. And I'm Jane. Of course, you already know that. Now, we're standing outside Jason's house today, because Jason's very ill. Yeah, he's got a bad cold. Yeah, that's right, Jane. So we're going to go in and cheer him up. Come on, Jane. It's us, Clement, Clement and Jane. Okay. Cupboard. The door's open. Ah, oh, I'm so glad you came. I've got such a bad cold, I can't speak properly, and it's driving me bad. It's driving you bad? What do you mean? No, not driving me bad. It's driving. Oh, that's better. I can speak properly now. Ooh, gross. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, Jace, we're here to cheer you up. Is there anything we can do for you? Anything we can get you? Yeah, there is something. Hold on. Brace yourselves. I'm going to sneeze. Ah! 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 Achoo! Whoa, I'm being blown away! Yeah, me too! Jason, quit it! Uh... Hello, viewers! I'm back! And this time, I've landed on Mars, I think! Hey, where's Clem? I'm coming, Jane. Look out below. Yeah. Oh, there you are, Clem. <laughs> Where are we, Jane? I don't know. We're on some foreign planet. I think we're on Mars. Hey, Clem, listen. What's that weird noise? Uh-oh. I don't think we're alone on this planet, Jane. You Earthlings, what are you doing on my planet? You are our prisoners now. Jane, what are we going to do? Hey, don't worry about this, Clem. I've got an idea. Uh, look here, Mr. Alien. Could me and Clem just talk this over, you know, in private first? Very well. You have five Earth minutes and then you surrender to us. Or to me, anyway. Come on, Clem, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, Jane, I think we're safe here. Yeah, but we best get off this planet. But how, Jane? We're lost here. We're stranded. It's hopeless. Oh, Clement, shut up. I can get us out of here. I have got the most powerful bum. All I have to do is a great big fart and we can get out of here. Huh? Just trust me, it's going to work. Hold on tight, Clem. Okay, Jane. Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbums are go. Meanwhile, back at Jason's house, I've lost them. My only friends. I've lost them. I didn't mean to do that big sneeze and blow you away. I'm sorry. Oh, Jason, stop worrying about it. They'll come back. How do you know, sister? For all you know, they could be stranded on some alien planet when you don't know how powerful my sneezes are. Hey. Jason, 
What's this thing in the sky? Look. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No! It's Clements and Jane! They made it! Yeah. Oh, nice of you guys to drop in. And that's the end of our little story. Hi, I'm Jason. I'm having to host this next bit because Clement and Jane are in hospital right now. A fall from the sky doesn't do anybody any good. <laughs> See? They're in no condition to host the show, are they? But anyway, the next cartoon coming on is Ricky in a Sticky Situation. Hi, it's me, Mad Paul. Guess why I'm mad? I've seen Ricky trying to pinch all Clement's money. I don't agree with that, so I'm going to go down and beat him up. This is what Ricky's doing right now. <laughs> See what I mean? Now I'm gonna go down and beat him up. Hello, Ricky. What you doing? Yeah! It's Paul. Paul, you won't tell, will ya? Sorry, Ricky. I don't accept you taking Clement's money. Now I'm gonna have to shake you upside down by your ankles till all the money falls out. Paul, please. Please stop it, please, Paul. I don't like it. Okay, I don't like it. Please, Paul, stop it. Paul, it hurts. Please, stop it. Alright, I won't do it anymore, Paul. Please, stop it. Okay, Ricky, I've got all the money off you now. You're free to go. Oh, Paul, so unkind. That was my life savings. I'm telling Nanny of you. Oh, I'm really scared. You're going to tell your Nanny. She's not going to believe you, Ricky, because you lie all the time. I'm the one she's going to believe. And, um, and... Uh, uh, Ricky? Where have you gone? Oh, never mind. Lemon! I've got your money! Hey, what? I saw Ricky with it, but it's all right. I beat him up now and I've got the money off him, all right? All right. Thanks, Paul. Jason, what are you just standing there for? You won! Huh? Oh. Um, later on that night... dream about what happened earlier today. Could I sleep with you for the rest of the night? What? No! Not after what you've been doing, Ricky! Get back to bed! And I don't care if you have any more nightmares. It serves you right! Ricky! You're a naughty, 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 at two o'clock in the morning, Ricky, after what you've done. Well, I'm going to try anyway. Clement stays up real late, and I'm going. Goodbye. Nah, good riddance. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Hi, Clem. Could I sleep with you for the rest of the night? Because I've had a really bad nightmare. And Nanny won't let me sleep with her. Hmm, let me think. No! Not after what you've been doing. Go away! Clem, still friends, aren't we? We're still buddies.
Twin? Yo! My name is James. I'm Paul's American adopted brother. Well, I'm here to tell you about the next cartoon coming on. The next cartoon is called The Day Ricky Got Squished. And yes, it's something about Ricky again. Although it never actually happened. Anyway, here's the cartoon. Hi, it's me, Ricky, and I'm going over to Clement's house to play. Hey, listen, what's that noise? Yeah. about to crush me. I'm so small he can't see me. Watch out! <sniffs> Whoopsie. I've just trodden on something. What have I trodden on? Ah, oh, it's Clement's little friend Ricky. I've squashed him. And it's all this gooey mess of my shoe where he's splattered all over it. You've crushed him. He's dead. Yeah, I know, Jane. I'm getting out of here. I don't want to be had up for... Um... Oh no, I just farted. Right, I'm definitely getting out of here now. Poor, oh, it certainly does stink. I'm getting out of here too. Yeah. yeah. Hello. I'm Jason's sister. Now, the next cartoon coming on is about Clement's parents. At last, with four final turns of this screw, my newest model train will be complete. Oh, what do I have to do that for? The damn train's blown up! Sure I'm hungry. I'm going in. Come on! Open up in there! Just a minute! Ah, oh, you're back, dear. No. Food? No, if I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times. My name is not Food. It's Sue. Don't care, I want my food now. Where is it? I'll just go check the oven. Hey, there's no food in here. Why haven't you been cooking dinner? Well, I have been thinking about cooking food, but the TV has been so interesting, I haven't been able to get off my bum. I mean, there's a new episode of Neighbours on right now, and you know how much I love the soap operas. Since we had that TV, you've done nothing but watch it. That's it. It's going. Oh no, my precious beloved TV. What am I gonna do? Tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna go out and get some food. No, why don't you get it yourself for a change? I'm fed up with having to provide for you. Here. It's money. Now go on, go out and get your own food. Well, that's the end of our little show. Hi, I'm Ricky. Clemens and the rest of the gang asked me to host this end bit. Well, here I am. In case you're worried about me getting crushed in that cartoon, don't worry, it didn't really, really happen. It was just the story Clement made up. But if I really got crushed, I'd really be mad. Ricky, you'd be dead. Whatever. Now I'm going to leave you with some music. Goodbye. <laughs>